remembering that a power of one watt means that one joule is being transformed into another type of energy every second. It then makes sense that the amount of energy transformed by a, a household electrical appliance depends upon its power rating. Its power rating, that's how much, how many watts it, uh, it uses. And the time it is used for. This equation is given on your exam equations sheet. And uh, it's worth learning it though uh, and knowing what the, the symbols mean. So let's go through and we're going to look at two types of units for these energy, power and time. Standard SI units, system international units, and domestic power units, which are a little bit different and, and they are a bigger unit which is more convenient for us to measure power and energy in. So let's take a look at these units. So energy is power times time, that's your equation. E stands for energy. Energy. P stands for power. And T stands for time. Now let's go backwards. The unit for time is the second. It's the second. That's the standard unit which we use most of the time in physics. And but in domestic power, we tend to use hours. We tend to use the hour as the unit. And that's because we often leave appliances on for hours, such as lights. We're not that interested in seconds. It's usually how many hours per day do we leave a light on for. So that's why we use hours. Uh, P stands for power. And the standard unit of power, as you now know, is the watt. It's the watt symbol W, or unit symbol W. Now in domestic power we don't use the watt because it's too small a unit. We, we want to use the kilowatt, the kilowatt. And kilo stands for a thousand, so this is a thousand watts, and the unit symbol for this is K capital W, the kilowatt. Okay, now we come to the energy. And remembering that energy is the power multiplied by the time. Well, the power multiplied by the time would be watt seconds. Watt seconds. And, and in, in standard units, that gives us the unit joule. And that's the shortening. In domestic power units, we have power times time, so that would be kilowatts times hours and so we have something called the kilowatt hour the kilowatt hour or shortening is K capital W H sorry I've gone out of the table the kilowatt hour it's a measure of energy but it's a more much more convenient um, measure of energy than the standard units of joules if we're talking about electrical appliances used in the home or in industry. So there we are, those are the, uh, the units, the two types of units we can use for this equation to do with energy that's transformed in an electrical appliance.